What a start to the day at TinkerReturn.com for the Pelicans ballpark. Little Pelicans fan, that's a heck of a first pitch to splash. Probably a good omen for today's game. And the first, Justin Steele, that's Corey Ray, then Troy Stokes Jr., then Isan Diaz, he strikes out the side, finished with eight Ks in six innings. Still in the first, Bryant Flente is feeling strong today. That one, a laser over the wall in right field in the corner. He might have guaranteed that homer to some teammates in the dugout as you see him pointing over there. Solo shots, 1-1 in the fourth. Eddie Martinez changing that. Liner into left center field. Daniel Spingola would beat the throw home and the Pelicans would have a 2-1 lead. Later in the inning, Robert Garcia lining one between first and second to score Martinez. It was 3-1 Myrtle Beach, then more good pitching and defense. Hodges at third from his knees. Nice dig at first base by Alamo. Then next batter, fly ball to right field off the bat of Carlos Bolonis. Eddie Martinez at the wall, makes the catch, holds on. And then in the ninth inning, it was Kyle Miller. Final three frames, three innings of one run ball for Miller. To pick up his third save and the Pelicans win for the eighth time in nine games and the 13th time in 17 games. So the Birds widen their lead on the Carolina Mudcats in the Southern Division to two and a half games and Myrtle Beach gets great pitching from Justin Steele. One run on three hits in six innings, eight strikeouts. The Pelicans also have Kyle Miller throw well, three innings of one run ball. Flete with two hits, Spingola with two hits, and Myrtle Beach looking to maybe make a run at this division title. They're two and a half up on Carolina, and Bowie's Creek falling tonight, so Myrtle Beach three up on the Astros with eight to play in the first half of the season. Meanwhile, the series finale between the Pelicans and the Mudcats, Sunday, 6.05, first pitch. It's breakfast night and a pillowcase giveaway. Also a post-game pillow fight on the field and a family Sunday with breakfast foods from the concession stands. Coverage begins on the CW21 at 6 o'clock, also MILB.TV. And a radio broadcast starts at 5.50 on the Pelicans Baseball Network.